Welcome back everyone to Oolong Rise in RimWorld Alpha 13 where there's still a little few things for us to do. We need to bury a couple more attackers. We need to dig a couple more graves and generally get a few things back in order. But, first and foremost, we're going to lay down some heavy firepower over here. Now, Zarakis, since you already stood there, let's get you over there. I'm going to take Jack, since he's going to be one of the more interesting sides. Isildur and Ben, you can all go there. Down here, however, we are going to get Evelyn and uh, Redneck Gamer. You can go there. Megan, you can go here. We will have Geode Miner in between. Alvin, you can go stand over there. And we will have Fiery, Jaden, and Laura down here. Cedro, you get the day off. Right. Everyone get into positions, please. Chop, chop. There we go. Now, the way we're going to do this is the groups down here will try and distract the whole colony long enough for this group to get into position and start firing in. So, first up, Evelyn. Alvin, move. And everyone should open fire. Okay, Alvin, pull back. Evelyn, you're free to continue. It's one down. Excellent work. Okay, Evelyn, pull back. Um, Zarakis, go ahead. If anything pops his head out here, then you guys can shoot at it. But, yes, yeah, something. Engage. Okay, Zarakis, you're going to have to move back, I'm afraid. Uh, Alvin, go ahead. We've got a lot that we need to do in here. That's one down. Evelyn can move up instead. We're slowly killing off the uh, the little creatures in the room, which is fine, honestly, because it's basically getting rid of the ants. Uh, you can get out. Zarakis, you can move in. If you see anything, shoot it. Oops, broke down heater. That's fine. We don't really need the heaters at the moment. They're not a high, high need item. Thank goodness the mega spider is gone. Right, open fire on everything. Right, it's getting a little bit difficult to manage who's going to be in danger here. So uh, let's air on the side of caution and pull them back. And now Evelyn can pull back as well. There we go. Uh, Alvin, you can step forward. Gonna have so much bug meat from this. Oh, Alvin! Oh no! Damn it! Alvin, pull back. Did you get hurt? You didn't. Wow, well done, Alvin. Uh, bloody misclick is a serious threat to my colonists every time it happens. Right, let's see. How's it going to go? Uh, go ahead, move in, move in. I need a wall of firepower here. There we are. Mega spider on the way. It's down, good work. Another one down. We lost another light. Scallywags. I do so hate it when we lose lights. So I can pull back. All of that firepower. Fantastic. Okay. Let's move in. We'll have the same setup, though. We're just going to be away from the doors. Because this will allow us to attack the hives themselves. There we are. Let's get in. Um, it's a little worrying, the possibility of a crossfire there. Okay, Zarakis, get in there. Now we've got our three melees. Just attack the closest thing whilst I move the groups of ranged combatants into position to attack um, individual hives, but away from each other. Go on. There we are. Start firing on it. There we are. You guys firing that one. And you move over there. And you three can fire on that one. We should be able to get through them pretty quickly. Well done. Let's move you guys up there. And you're also very well done. Okay, so, right. What we want to do now is grab everything in here. Starting with the insect jelly. So, go ahead, whole insect jelly. You do the same. 
No, I can't. Ah, you're not a uh, hauler. That is a shame. Oh, well. It will happen now and then. Got there. Thank you. Thank you very much for all of that work. You go ahead and attack that. And um, that's actually getting a little bit close now. So I'm going to tell you guys to just go ahead and haul. In fact, I would like you to not fire for the time being whilst they're doing this. Go ahead, just grab what you can, then go ahead and leave. Or not, you can you can hang around, that's fine. The main thing is that we kill all these things as quickly as we possibly can. There we are, and what I would like now for the walls to be replaced, there we go. Perfect. And this can also open up as well. In fact, let me uh, unforbid all the doors. Just so that we can be sure that we'll be able to move through them in time. There we go. This is the only hive that we're going to allow to to uh, survive this. So go ahead. You can't, unfortunately, because this is not the home zone. You are restricted to the home zone. Redneck Gamer can't either. There we go. Someone can, at least. Right, Evelyn. Could you prioritize repairing that for me? Wow. That definitely did take a little bit of time, but on the plus side, everything is now more or less back where it should be. If you could work on that, Redneck Gamer, if you could work on this, then that would be glorious. Right, you can definitely help me out by uh, attacking this with Zorakis. Yeah, You know what, though? The amount of time that we're going to be here, we'll probably get another insect hive before too long. It's been a long while that we've had this little farm going, but it takes so much of my micromanaging to keep it going that I think at this point, yeah, we're, we're going to wipe out all of the insects and just wait for a while. Eventually, we will get another hive. There's That much is a certainty. So we'll just wait for that to happen. Uh, I'd like another light down there and light there and a light there as well. There we go. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your help. There we are. Go ahead and haul the jelly, and you haul that jelly. Ah, good times. The hives are gone. So we're going to be able to focus on other things for a while now. Been a long while coming, that. But uh, I'm glad to have had this hive for as long as we did, because that has definitely kept us in with a lot. And by a lot, I really do mean a lot. We've got so much meat. We're not going to have to worry about hunting for a, a, an age. Unfortunately, Evelyn has gone on a binge. Eh, it's fine, though. I, I don't mind that. Um, mental state days, though, as well. Alvin is dazed. I guess they were, you know, fighting for quite some time, weren't they? Uh, 10 degrees. That's 10 degrees. It's cool. And everyone's snoozing for now. Evelyn's no longer binging on alcohol. Now, in the next... Um, in the newest Alpha, Alpha 15... There are a lot more drugs. Some you can manufacture, some you just have to buy, or you need to buy the components to manufacture it. It is a very different game in that sense. You've got a lot more options. So I'm looking forward to being able to move on to Alpha 15. Once I've completed either the Alpha 14 playthrough or the Alpha 13 playthrough, I'll start the Alpha 15 playthrough. So uh, I am going to be beelining for the completion of one of them at the moment, to be honest. I. I think it's going to be this one because we're so close to finishing up that spaceship. Doesn't really make uh, much sense for us to linger over long here. You've more or less seen everything that we can do, except for the heavy uh, augmentation. But I've got that in New Camaraderie playlist. It hasn't really changed that much here. The, um, the main change with the um, augments is that you can't give people um, AI brains. The brains now are more or less a replacement for a faulty brain. If someone's got dementia, you can fix it with those. But you can't just uh, happily go along and just make them so much more conscious, so much more um, intelligent. Because that, to be fair, was game-breaking. A group of pirates from the Nuke Gorillas have arrived nearby. Is anyone related to anyone in the attack? No, that's good. Um, we have, however, got someone with a triple rocket launcher. Oh, how I am going to enjoy messing with your brain. Uh, where is our psychic insanity lens? Did we buy one? Very soon we did. 
I see it not, but I'm fairly certain we bought something along those lines. Uh, we've got the Psychic Soothe Pulsar. There we are, Psychic Insanity Lance. Ah, that's going to be good times. Right, sorry everyone, but you're all drafted, once again. Let's get you all down here, please. And then we'll move you into various positions. All right, no, this needs to be on uh, slow time speed, please. All right, Megan, you can go here. Ben, you can go there. Laura, you can go here. And Fiery, you can go there. That's two set up. Alvin, you can hang out with them down here. Jaden, you can go all the way down there. Geode Miner, all the way down there. The Charge Rifle, its weakness is its shorter range, unfortunately. Now, where is... Good, 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 good. You're moving off a little bit. It's fantastic. But Rambo, no, Evelyn, I would like you over there. Isildur, you can happily be up here. In fact, actually, we'll spread you out. So, Rakis, if you could please head over there. Rambo, if you can head over down there. Oh, actually, go that way, please. Um, Radnack Gamer. Maybe I could grab some... Uh, a pump shotgun or something. Just pop out, take a couple of shots or something like that. Mm. No, I think we're fine getting you down there. Steejo, you're going over here. Jack, you're going all the way over there. And I think that's everyone then. Yep, that would be everyone. Now, what we don't want is that triple rocket launcher becoming a problem. But it looks like the triple... Triple rocket launcher is moved on. They're not actually coming in here. Which is glorious, honestly, because they'll probably break. The person carrying the triple rocket launcher is likely to break. So we're not going to have to deal with it. And thus we get to keep our insanity lance. Um, you've been shot twice by a charge rifle. I do need these shots to get down there. It's annoying that if someone's all the way over there, they're just... They're unreachable by so many of my people. Have I got a... Oh my god. Damn it. Uh, Alright. Well, let's get you guys down here. You know what? Maybe we'll just rush them. But those charge rifles are proving to be a bit of a pain. Be honest. Because you're just happily shooting us. I'm going to need to get rid of this, I think. That would probably be the best idea. It would force them to advance. And then get shot. Ben's taking a couple of hits. Um, come on, Isildur. I need your aim to be true, mate. I think you've hit him a couple of times, actually. Right, they're going to step forward. Everyone takes shots. When they actually do poke their head out, they get massacred. But it's when they just hold back that it's the problem. Right, okay. They're trying to run... Uh, should we let them... You know what? I don't need... Oh, well done. I don't need any more prisoners. And I don't need any corpses for any particular reason. So that's fine. But we are going to deconstruct this. I want them to move forward. Do not want them hanging back any longer. Go ahead. Slay. They have broken one of my traps there, which is a pain. But we'll have to get rid of that. Uh, get that sorted. I'll just speed up time. There shouldn't be any particular issues. In fact, could you go out there and just melee attack them before they break my bloody door? There we go. That's better. Perfect. They were the one that were shooting us as well, so that's even even more fitting. Just just kill them. Kill them for the audacity of, of fighting back. Well, we've got plenty of grades for this. There we are. Go ahead. Clean up everyone. And them as well, please. Perfect. And with that, you're free to do what you want. We are going to need... Oh, actually, Laura, could you... Ah, uh, you can't haul. Jack can haul. Jack, come down here and... Ooh, has that got nowhere to go? Might have nowhere to go. Oh, wait. Have we not gotten everything selected there? No. Okay. Uh, can we... No, we, we just might not have anywhere to put it. Damn. That's a bit of a pain. Uh, actually, because these are nuke gorillas, we do want to strip them. 
because they may have decent armor. I mean, we've been shooting at it a lot, so it can't be that good, but it didn't save the people who were in it before. Still, I want them stripped. There we go. If Laura could at least haul these people out of the way, that would be fine. And then this one as well. There we go. And then haul the meals. And pretty much just haul anything you can haul. Uh, fine. Oh. Solar flare. Damn. Betray the caravan from Acrobat City has shown up. Okay. Rambo, I need to go and have a word. It's been a little while since we did any trading. They've got a lot of snakes, my lord. Right, as for gold, um, oh, we got so many hops. Let's let's get rid of half of our hops, at least. In fact, more than half of our hops. That'll do. Um, slate box, we're doing fine on. We've got a decent amount of beer. We've got some jade that we could sell. Mm, not as keen on selling that. Let's buy all of their steel, though. Uh, we don't need their plasteel. Wouldn't mind all of their medicines, even though it's a bad deal for us. Not going to buy their human leather. Nope. I will get rid of the broom rat leather. We haven't got enough elephant skin, really, to, to want to keep that much. Um, got loads of cloth. Components, of course, we want to buy more rather than get rid of it. Um, insect jelly? We, well, we obviously want to keep that. Uh, anything else in particular? Got some kill. Uh, I can buy one chocolate. Sure, you know what? That's fine by me. Let's let's buy some chocolate off them. Um, don't want. We've got three male chickens. We'll sell two of them. Keep one female. And we do not, absolutely do not want any cats or really anything that can't haul. I may well. Sell off the cows. Uh, no, and we're also going to buy a Labrador. There we are. Except, Labrador, you are now part of the family. You may go. You're named Loyal. Oh, how marvelous. All right, you are going to have. Uh, actually, that's. I want you to be trained, so get everything. All the training going. Also, given that my... Uh, no, I want them on the restricted area. So they can just wander around, do what they want, really. In fact, you know what? I don't actually care. You can be restricted to home. Just go around, wander. I'm fine with you finding food wherever you want to find it. Because we don't need to worry about you eating our, our food at this point. It is not a concern. All right. Well, um, following this raid, I think the best thing for us to do is increase hauling priority by one for everyone again. There we are. And we should be able to get all of these corpses out and dealt with and all of that good stuff. Also, we are going to want a new deadfall trap right there. But other than that, it should be good. Hopefully. Now, there's a load of machines that aren't going to work. Like, for example, um, our kitchens aren't going to work. Our smelters aren't going to work. So, you know, it's this is a good chance for us to actually get a lot of stuff just hauled around. Uh, would someone please bring in the, the chocolate? Uh, no, I don't want you to consume it. Alvin, you can, though. Consume the chocolate, Alvin. You deserve it, my friend. Go and nom. Uh, yeah, sure. Rambo, I'm sure Rambo wouldn't mind you uh, using his room for a little bit. There we are. Let's get a little bit of everything hauled inside. If you could haul the steel, that would also be glorious. I mean, everyone should be hauling things, so I'm not sure why it's all out there at the moment. But I guess they're prioritizing burying. And I'm kind of glad about that, actually. Good on you. Let's get them all buried. Especially the ones down here who are now naked. Because that's not something that we want. Right, um, okay, so we're going to need, definitely going to need all of this brought up, so uh, Laura, could you please get on that? And Jaden as well, in fact, can everyone get on this? Everyone haul these inside, please. There we are. That should be enough of it brought in. 
I imagine most of it will be cleared up without many people working on it. Oh, actually, a little bit was left. Never mind. Uh, hopefully, Jaden can work on getting some more kibble. There we go. Let's get you working. More things being hauled in all the time. All right. Not too terribly bad, I think. Now, we need more of that steel to be used down there and getting all of that sorted, but... Uh, on the whole, fairly happy with the way things are going. We kind of need the cleaning to be done a bit more, but with everyone in haul mode, it's going to take a little while. Have these started to rot yet? Uh, no. It will rot soon, though, in 0.4 days. So that was actually really good timing on getting all these things hauled. That could have been a sad waste of meat. There we are. All right. So, at this point, I strongly imagine... Oh, wow, so much stuff just sat around there. Right, who's who's our tailor? Ben, 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 Ben. What are you probably working on? Repair, growing, smithing, then tailoring. I mean, you should actually be doing the tailoring fairly frequently. I'm not quite sure why you're not. Could I convince you to work on the tailoring bench, please? We've got too many fields, really. I think that's part of the problem. And it takes a long while to make any of that. On the plus side, though, we are uh, getting things hauled in from outside as well. Oh, Evelyn, Evelyn is actually quite dutiful about going and checking on Dudley. Keeping uh, Dudley's spirit apprised of the happenings in Oolong Rise. Got some wood up there, which is great. Well, everyone's just snoozing now for a bit. Except Rambo. Who's uh, taking the opportunity for an, a very early morning snack. I was going to say midnight, but we're about four hours too late for midnight snacks. Right, hopefully we can get some more food prepared, because that is going to be a big issue in the very near future, I fancy. Right, okay, I would say at this point that the hauling is done enough, so let's get everyone back onto their regular jobs. And job priorities. There we go. Are we researching anything? We are not, actually. Um, Multi-barrel weapons, charge shot, power armor, brain surgery, synthetic organs, mortars, incendiary IEDs, fire foam. You know what? I would like to research fire foam. Let's get someone working on that for us. There we are. Getting more and more and more and more beers brewed. How many beers do we have? We have more than we really need. So, you know what? I'm going to suspend this, and whoever was working on that can instead make meals for us. There we are. And our thrombos and other animals are fairly happy in there. The animals that can haul are out hauling, which is grand. All right. Uh, okay, then. They're still waiting on this, though, which is kind of shocking, honestly. But at least we're now getting the rest of the uh, flooring done. We're also probably going to get more of the powers, uh, power conduct set up as well. Let's get this wall finished off. And then the power conduct going through it. There we go. That's what I like to see. Once they actually start working on a job, they get it done super fast. It's just a shame that they don't try and do the job sooner. There we are. That's almost set up now. Like I said, I'm going to wait until the whole launch area is finished before we actually start working on the ship. Huskies joined. A group of huskies, abandoned or lost, have wandered into the area. I approve. You may also join us. Let us get you all trained up on the everythings. You as well. There we go. There's one down there. Yep, you too. That is amazing. And you're all restricted to home, so uh, come along. Jaden, you're going to have your work cut out for you. Just saying. There we go. Belladonna is no longer incapable of walking. I'm very glad about that. What was wrong with Belladonna? Where is Belladonna? Loyal, where is Belladonna? 
There we are. What's wrong? Hmm. No idea. Maybe you're just in a mood. Oh, Belladonna had a heart attack. Holy... What? And yet she's fine. Someone clearly decided this is the most important thing in the universe to deal with. Well done. My colony is actually pretty cool. Uh, okay, many of the uh, local animals have gone mad. That's fine. It's just an iguana or two or three or four, maybe 48. Either way, you don't really mind too much. I can easily deal with them. In fact, I can deal with them so easily, I'm not even going to bother prioritizing them to be dealt with. Uh, that will come a cropper when someone, you know, bleeds to death because an iguana slit their throat. Mm. Have I convinced myself to deal with it? I may have. No, still not. Right, okay, well, how much steel have I got? I've not got really any, so we're going to have to start going out and getting it then. It is a must. So let's start there. Right, Redneck Gamer, let's get you over here. They're going to come for you eventually. Oh, okay, they uh, took a more protected route than I was expecting. Pop your head up. Well done. Any more crazy iguanas? No. Okay. You can go about your business. Right, we've got another trader. Hello. I don't expect to be able to trade too much with you, but let's see what we can do. On the plus side, I can get rid of all of these things. Get out of my inventories. Oh, my lord. Oh, my goodness. Actually, you can take quite a lot of... Uh, Items, you've got a reasonable amount of cash on you. I am impressed. Oh my goodness, that is good to get rid of all of that junk. Um, I've got enough of that to last me several lifetimes. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. I can buy some more huskies. Kind of tempted to. We'll just have loads of huskies. But then they're going to need loads of food, so no. That's, that's good enough for now. That should have freed up some space. Uh, actually, we weren't storing many. It doesn't. It doesn't look like so. Unfortunately, not. Right. What I would actually kind of like, Jack. Have I got any particularly good assault rifles? I don't. That is a shame. Oh well. You're going to be equipping this one anyway. There you are. This way, I can actually have you shoot from further away. Colonists needs rest. Oh dear. Oh dear, now get out there quickly. I don't know if they're going to survive it. Well, that was a righteous way for someone to go down. A bloody lynx. Ah, oh, second person in the colony to die. That is horrifically bad. Okay, all of these need to be restricted. Um... Can I not... Alright, I need a very specific place set up. Jack, you're not going to be there. I want you to make me a grave. And it needs to be... Um, no, I would like it to be... What kind of bricks have I got? I've got enough marble. Um, what is that? Limestone. Yeah, we've got enough limestone. Let's make a limestone... Sargophagus around there. Jack, begin work on it. There we are. I cannot believe that just happened. And it's just sad there. Like, oh, I didn't do anything. Don't know what you're talking about. Kill it! You wretched thing, you. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to leave um, Jude Miner there for a moment while I have Jack build this so I can ensure that he gets put in the correct place. But we need to prepare this whole structure. Um, I think we'll, we'll obviously be quite fancy. Oh, we were so close again. You out of this, this planet. I feel so horribly bad. So horribly bad. The very least I can do is give you a, a good place to be buried in. go and actually no what we'll do is we'll have something like this and then we'll 
Get rid of these at the back there. Oh, how did I get that so badly wrong? I was wondering, how on earth did it go from being even? Uh, sorry, from being odd to being even. That makes no sense. There we go, that's better. Uh, actually, you know what, we'll do this. There we are. And then we are, of course, going to want a slate door. Right there. Now, as for the insides, what was Geode Miner's room like? Uh, more limestone than anything else. Very well. Oh, I feel really bad. <laughs> right at the end, we almost got you off the pl off off world. Uh, I'll do this. We will have this side very much the same. Then we will have a limestone around there. And in the very edges, we will have slate. Um, yeah, slate all along there as well. I would like limestone underneath. There we go. Right, Jack, need the sarcophagus done super fast. Uh, yeah, limestone sarcophagus, please. Much sad. Very rip. No, oh, don't use it on everything else. But oh, you're going to be one of those builders, aren't you? Everything else but the sucker. Oh, no, okay, never mind. I take it back. I was a bit cruel, a bit unfair on you there. However, we've lost one of our main miners. Uh, right, assigned colonists. I would like a geode miner to be assigned here. And geode miner is now unrestricted. Jack! Please bury Geode Miner. <sighs> Sleep well. Okay, research finished. Fire foam. Allows the construction of fire foam poppers. Fire safety buildings which spread fire retardant foam in response to encroaching flames. <sighs> well, that is not too bad, I suppose. But I imagine a lot of people are going to be upset now because, you know, Geode Miner had, had enough time to become good friends with quite a lot of people, actually. Do we have a torch? We do not have torches in here. That is a shame. Torches would be grand for this kind of stuff, but we, we lack them. Um, severe illness. Colonist needs rescue. Oh, they should have already been rescued. Severe illness, though. What's wrong? Heart attack. Wow, Evelyn, you're going to be able to... Get them there, 27% chance. Oh, you, my lord, you saved her. Well done, Evelyn. Wow, the heart attacks lately. But the, the, the whole colony is just dealing with it by themselves. I'm not having to, to babysit them here, which is amazing. They're taking care of that stuff on their own, which is just fantastic. All right, let's get all of this done, please. There we are. Once that's done, we will get some st um, some statues once they're built, and some plant pots in here, that kind of thing. In fact, we can build the plant pots now. I would like slate plant pots. One there, there, there. We'll have slate ones down here, there, and there. And we'll have some uh, statues and things like that. Around the the rest of it, some other kinds of decorations. There we are. This place is almost finished. Very rapid construction of a sarcophagus, of a tomb rather. Uh, uh, in fact, I would actually like to have two wooden plant pots there and there. Now, what have we got over here? This is our sculptor's table. Small sculptor, ornamental plant pots. In fact, actually, that would be better. We'll have these be the ornamental plant pots. There we go. It'll be grand. Right. How's everything else going? Um, we've got issues with power. Okay. Well, let's uh, flick the switch. Get the power sent through, please. Ooh. Pardon me. Thank you, boink. All power back on. 
On that note, though, we are going to need a small room down here. Uh, we can probably make this one out of limestone, in fact. Small battery room. By small, of course, I mean large. Uh, we'll have... Yeah, slate doors are good enough. And we'll want... Uh, it doesn't need to be anything fancy in terms of the flooring. It can be just concrete in this room. There we are. And we'll just have the batteries along there. And then we'll want some power moving in. And, of course, across this way as well. There we go. Now, my plan with this is just to have a couple of... Well, actually, one or two solar power... Um, solar pa uh, power generators there. I'm not going to need much. Uh, oh, that's in the wrong place, but uh, bring those across like so. Cancel that one. Place this back down again. Get the floor as concrete. And that'll do as well. We'll actually just go around... Well, yeah, we may as well just go around the whole room. There we are. Sorted. Oh, we're going to need a metal floor there, aren't we? Ah, bloody cougars. Always the way. They're so dangerous. So ridiculously dangerous. Now, have I got anyone whose primary job is mining at all? Got two people who can, though Jack will tend to do construction first, which I'm okay with. Once that's done, he'll get on to uh, the mining. There we are, we're drawing from our main power plants now. Okay, so uh, a little bit of a, a sad episode there. The second death of the colony, just before we leave as well. Though at the rate that uh, I'm getting work done, it might be a little while before we get out of here, but still. Whoa, 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 why, why are these... Rotting. Ah, oh, no. Is it too hot outside? It probably is too hot outside, isn't it? Damn. That is very disappointing. I saw it get uh, adequately cooled previously, and I just assumed it would be okay. Jack, can you work on this for me? No, you cannot. Well, that is rubbish, my friends. Rubbish! We need to try and get on to that as fast as we can, then. Okay, well, the colony is, uh, you know, it's doing okay. That was an unfortunate death, but we just couldn't get out there in time. Jude Miner was so far from the colony when he got attacked. Uh, these things will happen on occasion, but hopefully it's not going to happen again before we leave. So, but that is going to be it from me for now. So, as ever, any feedback warmly welcomed in the comments down below. And a like on the video lets me know you want to see more RimWorld in the future. But until then, take care, everyone.